when I was about 13, 14, I once tried to improve the animal kingdom by making the hardest animal ever, the most perfect animal. Now, just to clarify, you didn't, in sort of Frankenstein style, no. try and bolt various bits of animals together. It, it was a drawing that I sent to Blue Peter. There was no competition going on. You just thought they would be appreciated. I thought they'd, they'd look at that and they'd go, well, this is, he's a genius. Yeah. This is like Da Vinci. Sure. Um, and this is the animal. This is what I thought, the perfect animal. I mean, when I say perfect, I meant the hardest animal. This right. animal, it could take anything. It was just the strongest, hardest, fastest, right? Yeah. So, I started with the head of a lion. Of course, that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it looks good. Right, bite you, right? Yeah. Okay. I popped that on the body of a rhinoceros. Okay, so it's got the toughness, oh, the armour, if you like. The, the, oh, it's full strength. Head yeah. of a lion. Think of that. So, you've got this picture. Head of a lion, body of a rhino. Perfect. Okay. Hold on, though. Pop some arms on it. The front arms were the arms of a gorilla. The arms of a gorilla. So okay. it could punch, grip, it could make stuff. The lion, I mean, that's where the lion falls down, because it can't make stuff. Sure. It can't climb, you know. So, okay then, wait a minute. You think that's got enough weaponry? Sounds like it. No. Pop on the tail of a giant scorpion. <laughs> a giant scorpion? Yeah. Yeah. So, so a scorpion that's, that's the size so of a Exactly. So the tail was as long as that rhino. So now right. this is a scary animal. Yeah. And this is where the animal fell down. Uh, I thought, right, legs. Well, the fastest animal is the cheetah. The cheetah. Popped on four cheetah legs. Four cheetah legs. It would have collapsed. Under it the would have collapsed of the immediately. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. yeah. And you, you drew this, did you? I drew it, yeah. Did you show it to anyone yeah, other than Yeah, my mates went, that's brilliant. Right. They said, that's brilliant. <laughs> And uh, then just sent straight to Blue Peter. Yeah. Any reply? No reply at all. Really? No reply Surprise. at all. What do you think of that, Carl? If you wanted to make the ultimate fighting animal, what would you come up with? If you had the power, like that fella in Arabian Nights, size of a chimpanzee, you could change into anything, but you could change into, you know, like that. I don't think I'd go for strength and that. I'd go for survival. What would you do? Uh. Cockroach. No, I'd have... Uh... I'd have, like, uh, an armadillo's body. Right, OK. I'd have a uh, head of an owl. Right? The head of an owl? Yeah, why, 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 come on, why, what does that bring to the table? The head's there to sort of make it look friendly to, to the human race. So okay. Because if you look half decent to the human race, they'll, mm. they'll look after you. Right. That's the way it works, yeah. right? okay. with a cat and a dog and all that. Mm. Right. So the owl makes it look nice. Right. I'd have... Uh, I wouldn't have legs. I'd go for, like, the slug juice. <laughs> what do you mean? So now you're a really slow-moving, legless armadillo with a head of an owl. Slithering along. Yeah. How is that going to be friendly? They'll, be, they'll see the beautiful face, but then they'll be terrified by the sludge. No, because the head's that nice that they'll, they'll forgo the, uh, the sludge. But hold on, though. But wait a minute. So this got, it's got this thing that's stuck, right, going at 0.1 miles an hour. With a going, right? You come over, you kick the head off. How is this? No, because the head can go into the thing like a tortoise. Can it? Yeah, of course it can. Into so, the armadillo body. Well, no, an armadillo doesn't do that. It just curls up no, into no, a ball. This isn't an armadillo, is it? So it's. Oh, Why has it got the slug? Why because is that so attractive? what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is an armadillo. They're good when they're on their feet. Flip them, they get stuck, like a tortoise. Right. Slug stuff keeps it down. So if anything attacks it, it's like a limpet or one of them things that can. Why not have a limpet then? But 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 it no. can't get any. How it can barely move. It can just hardly go and, get just anywhere. Just go and kick it. What just do you mean this, can't get well, anywhere. How can it escape from danger? It's going to move it's rubbish. Very slowly. No, because that's the worst lock animal. Lock itself in. It'll lock itself in. Yeah, and then I just scoop it up on the. You sand. can't scoop it up. It locks itself in if it's in danger. I give it peacock feathers. <laughs> Why has it got peacock feathers? Again, it's just... It's, it's just the so worst animal you I've ever heard. Why has it got peacock feathers? Threatening. It looks more threatening. It that's does, what, that's the least do. threatening thing, peacock feathers. It's like Danny LaRue coming at you. There's yeah. nothing remotely scary about peacock feathers. Yeah, to humans. Yeah. But the humans won't be harming it because they like the owl head. People will like to have these things in the garden. Mm. Uh, they eat lettuce. <laughs> they eat lettuce? <laughs> they eat lettuce? Why has it got a beak?
They eat lettuce. He's telling them what he's going to eat now. The owl's going, fuck that. I want a mouse. I love the fact that he's based what it eats on the fact that how it moves a bit like a slug. Yes. They'd eat lettuce. Yeah. It moves that and they'd eat lettuce. Like I said, it's not that weird if that if that existed. If that was normal, like when you went out to empty your bin, it was one of them sliding up the wall. <laughs> You wouldn't, you wouldn't even double take. You'd just be like, oh, there's the, uh, the owl head peacock feather thing. I don't know why he's climbing walls in an effort to find lettuce. Yeah, why is it climbing up that wall? Because that's the only way it can see properly. Because its head's coming out like that. So even though you've designed this animal, now it's, you're even explaining <laughs> it's, its limitations. Problems. Well, it's, 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 it's mainly made as, uh, to be on walls. Because <laughs> <laughs> what else is living on walls? <laughs> Now, what a useless animal that is. Carl, I mean. But nature chucks up odd things, doesn't it? Don't. Why are we starting on this again? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying that is nature. Fuck now and again, yeah. you'll get, you'll get stuff that. Oh, was he looking at you? Yeah. Was he? <laughs> Look at his fucking head. Look at his stupid round fucking orangey head and oh. Why, why aren't you a freak? You've got a little bald head. We're not meant to be bald. Well, I, I was, I think. That's the thing. That's what nature's done. You see, I didn't do anything with my hair when I had hair. I didn't style it. I didn't do anything with it. And it probably thought, what am I doing here? <laughs> Whereas people who love their hair and they comb it and have different styles and look after it, they have hair for ages. Nonsense. No, nonsense. nonsense. Absolute well, nonsense. Well, you're saying it. Absolute nonsense. Well, it's a little bit weird, then, isn't it? And that's what happens with old people. Once they lose their, you know, will to live. Once they lose the job, they get old. What's my purpose? What am I doing here? And it's like nature goes, you're not needed, and they die. Maybe that's what happened with the dodo. What's it doing? Can't fly. Its wings are useless. Eat it. Tastes horrible. Kill it. <laughs> no, they did nature. eat it. I think they did eat yeah, it. Yeah, but it wasn't very nice, was it? I, th I think they over-farmed it. I think that's why it was extinct, because they did eat it. No, but they did eat it, but they didn't like it. Everybody, you never, you never saw like a fully eaten carcass of a dodo. You're it making this up again. Eaten. All conjecture. No, but they, they didn't eat it all. Everybody would probably try it and go, "It's not for me." That. <laughs> but you don't know no this. No idea. You don't You're just making this. it up. What's this based on? That people. And also, why would that kid it out? Because I'll tell you why. why. Because if it's not nice, people don't go. Don't get another one in, and they die out. The reason we've got loads of chickens and loads of cows is because we eat them. If we ate polar bears, we wouldn't be short of them. Because you'd farm it, you'd take more care. But what's a polar bear doing? Sat on a block of ice floating about. <laughs> it's no use to us, is it? It sounds harsh. Once again, no got his information from a glacier mint advert. No, but it's no, it's no use <laughs> to us. We know they're there, and it's all very sad when you see them on the news, sort of struggling and all that. Yeah. But it's going to make them stronger. 